welcome back to my channel and as you can see by the title today i'm going to show you guys how i prep my natural hair my 4c natural hair before i get into protective styling which is box braids so first of all what i'm doing right now is that i took off my pony that i did in my previous video and i am applying warm melted shea butter mixed with a little bit um, of olive oil i'm applying that under my scalp and over my hair before i detangle because it, this hot oil treatment helps to soften my hair and it makes it more manageable compared to trying to wet it then detangle then do hot oil treatment and all that it's honestly a lot for me so i decide not to stress myself with that so after i apply the hair in my underneath my scalp if i'm right i do the same to my edges then i do it overall the whole hair so the oil is pretty much warm and i work very fast with it because shea butter would go back into its caked state if it's left to get like if it gets cold it's going to get back into its solidified state so yeah all i do is just put the oil in it as you can see i didn't even really use a lot but then it was okay to saturate my whole hair and yeah so after i do this the next step i do is to is to take my normal kitchen cling film oil did i say oil foil sorry i take that and i wrap that around my hair just to help induce heat because um i don't believe in leaving my hair overnight in hot oil treatment honestly the magic and the work happens in 20 minutes after 20 minutes you are just wasting your time okay so don't overdo protein treatments for more than 20 to 30 minutes after that you are just wasting your time and you could have used that time to shampoo your hair so yes i have the, you don't even need a lot of cling film just a little to wrap around the hair and use Heat. then i went in for my satin bonnet that i used to sleep in my ankara main bonnet which is available if you would want to buy one of course then i wait for 20 minutes and this would help induce the heat faster into my hair and after this guys you have to wash your bonnet after every wash day you wash your bonnet so when i do this i don't have a choice i have to go and wash my bonnets so this is also a trick to make you wash your bonnets <laughs> so um Right now my hair is very soft and more manageable because of the hot oil treatment. It really, really helps guys. You should really try this. You don't need a whole lot of oils with plenty big names. Trust me, if you have shea butter, you can just use that. Olive oil is not hard to get to. Just mix it up. Warm it in your microwave or what I do is I put mine into a bowl of warm water and it melts straight away and that's the magic for me so i'm just running my hands through my hair just a bit then after that i would what did i do after that yeah yeah so i just run my hands through it a bit detangled it a bit then after that i would go and shampoo my hair with my replenishing ors conditioner and i will use a neutralizing shampoo because i want to get rid of all the dirt and gel in my hair very thoroughly because i'm going to braid that is how come i'm using that but other than that i normally use the aloe shampoo paired with a replenishing conditioner which is very very good and i recommend you use so I am done washing my hair and taking a shower and I'm holding my threaded yarn and I place my hair in sections so what I'm going to do is apply oil and cream into my hair using the melted shea butter once again and then soft wave cream which is good for anti-dandruff and itchy, itchy scalp sorry 
so I apply this all over the sections in my hair massages into my scalp then after that I go with the cream so if you don't know the LOC method the LOC method is liquid oil and cream and for liquid since my hair is already damp because of shampoo I don't I don't plan on spraying more water into my hair and so the liquid can either be the water or a leave-in conditioner of your choice so I do that and I put the oil in my the oil I've already placed then the last thing I do is to put the cream into my place the cream into my scalp and massage it and so it's for to lock in the oil and this method is LOC method is because I use this method because I have hyper rusty hair so so if you have low porosity hair, there's also another way to do that. So I'll talk about more about the hair types and the porosity hair types in another video. So basically what I'm doing is I apply the oil, then I detangle my hair in smaller sections, which makes my work easier. Yes, so I do the LOC, detangle my hair, then after that I move in with a comb because now the hair is manageable so what i do is my ends are very thick the ends of my hair are very thick if you have frosty hair you know what i'm talking about so what to do i do is i just comb the ends of the hair first with the comb just to detangle that part then i'm moving into the hair then i comb from the roots to the tip so after that i just twist my hair around in my fingers then i put the thread on it as you can see so i'm not going to thread the whole hair Initially the plan was to thread the whole hair so that I'll go and braid the next day But then I decided to braid the same day because I got a call from my hairstylist that I can come and braid my hair Because she's done with her appointments for the day. So that is how come I ended up twisting my hair instead of threading it You will see that very soon. So if you're not going to braid your hair the same day in order to stretch your hair with no heat, I would advise that you go in with the threading. And yeah, so I'm just repeating the same thing that I'm doing. And that is it. Um, I cut my hair three years, is it four years ago? Yeah, I cut my hair four years ago. So, um, it was natural i've never perm my hair my hair was natural but then i cut i trimmed everything off and then i started all over again with dyed hair so yeah no it's not four years i think it's three years so yeah this is my three year hair and before after i trimmed my hair i wasn't really taking care of it so it wasn't growing very well but then i started taking more notice of it a year ago and taking care of my hair well yes so if you do take care of your hair well if you drink a lot of water exercise and all that honestly it really helps the hair to grow very fast and it really induces growth in your hair doing things the right way and detangling trust me detangling really helps to grow the hair because your hair is not knotted and it's not gonna tear or break i've had issues with breakage a lot that's how come i became very careful with my hair by trimming it and all that so my hair is done in the twist trust me there's no special way to twist your hair i was in a hurry so i just twisted it up so that it doesn't get matted before they start braiding my hair and obviously i need a trim so i did a little trim when i got to the salon at the ends of my hair so i am done almost done braiding my hair what they are doing is just um heating the ends of the hair so that it will curl up and you'll see the full picture in the next video so this is it guys thank you for watching thank you so please like share and subscribe i am grateful to all my old subscribers and i'm grateful to all the new ones that are coming up thank you love you guys mwah, 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 mwah.